Wait, Keith Hilson at the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music. So, a handful of months ago, I did a, a review um, and a comparison on the different Yamaha Zeno large bore tanner offerings. In particular, their 882O, GO, and OR, and kind of put them side by side by side. Um, and I received a lot of great feedback on that video, and a lot of folks said, well, you know, it was great to hear them side by side, but can we hear videos of them individually? In particular, the Zeno, the two standard Zenos, the 882O and GO. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on the 882GO. So again, the Zeno line is Yamaha's you know, professional large bore tenor line of uh, and bases as well here. So um, the 882 GO features an eight and a half inch uh, gold brass bell, um, kind of medium gauge um, soldered rim. It has a you know, obviously 547 inch bore, standard rotor, open wrap, um, has a, you know, the Xenos all the way through have a little bit wider slide setup. So the slides are maybe not quite as wide as like a Bach or standard Edwards setup here, but, you know, definitely wider than, you know, for example, uh, a Con or something else like that. So a little bit wider slide, um, yellow brass outer um, tubes plus yellow brass crook, um, nickel silver over sleeves here. Um, so I'm going to play for you a little bit on the 882GO so you can hear this particular model in action. <laughs> One of the things that we find here in the trombone shop is that the Xeno line really seems to fit a lot of players really well. Um, especially we have a lot of, you know, sometimes middle schoolers, a lot of high schoolers, you know, folks that are heading into, say, an undergraduate in college. Um, for a lot of them, the Xeno line works really well, in particular the 882, 882GO. Um, I think there's a, a number of different reasons for that. The This particular setup is a touch more resistant. Uh, I think it it has a really nice balance between, like for example, a Con 88H or related models that tend to be a little bit smaller playing instruments, and then moving into like a Bach, Shires, etc., which tend to be quite a bit more open. The Zenos really kind of fall in between, I think. Um, in general, I find the timbre, both on the yellow brass and gold brass, to be, you know, very, very um, core centric. So it's got a lot of core of the sound. The core tends to go kind of towards the, the edge of the sound. Um, with the gold brass, I find at, again, softer dynamics like we would expect with gold brass, it's really quite warm. It, it's plush, but without getting too, you know, soft and diffuse, it still retains, I think, a nice, you know, outside to the sound. When you start pushing the dynamic, of course, I think it does bright up a little bit. It gets a little bit of brilliance on the outside of the sound. It's not a bad sound, especially if you can control it. One of the things I do find with this is that for more advanced players, it can be a little resistant. Um, particular in the upper range, I find myself having to push a little bit more to get the air moving through, just because the you know the setup is not necessarily designed to use that much air. For players who really have a lot of air support, are able to move a lot of 
you know, volume of air through the instrument, a setup like the 882OR, their orchestral model, um, that tends to be quite a bit more open, and, and for them, all of a sudden, it opens things up. But again, in general, they, they, and of course, this has the Yamaha build quality to it. Um, they're as reliable as anybody we work with. Um, they're you know incredibly consistent um, and really great value out there. So again, for I think they're a really great fit for. A lot of players looking for that really in-between instrument. It's certainly something that'll take you, you know, a good long ways through your career, depending on your needs. So I hope you enjoyed this video here. Um, as always, if you did enjoy the video, think about giving us a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, think about subscribing to our channel. We're always trying to create new, fresh content for you. You can find us as well on all of the social media channels. So thank you as much as always for watching.